Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, June 5th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know 91 years ago, today in 1933, the United States abandoned the gold standard, a system where currency is backed by gold. This move came after Congress nullified creditors' rights to demand gold payments. The decision followed bank failures during the Great Depression, leading to public gold hoarding. Shortly after taking office, President Roosevelt enacted measures to prevent bank runs and halted gold payments. These actions aim to combat the economic downturn by inflating the money supply, drawing inspiration from Britain's earlier move off the gold standard in 1931. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning, it's mostly sunny and feels like 62 degrees with 7 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 8.17, and it will rise again tomorrow at 5.07. It looks like we're in for a slight chance of showers before 9 a.m. Then mostly sunny, with a high near 88, and wind of 8 to 11 mile per hour, with gusts as high as 21. Tonight, they'll be rainy with a low around 65. For all you beach runners out there, the first high tide Wednesday will be just after 11, with a low tide at 4.45. The near shore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 64 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect a chance of showers starting Thursday, continuing through the weekend. Highs will be around 75 with lows in the 60s. Thunderstorms are possible Thursday and Friday night. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, a flamingo was spotted on Cape Cod, a rare event for Massachusetts. If verified as wild, it would be the first American flamingo confirmed in the state. The bird seen wading offshore might be the same one recently spotted on Long Island. Typically found in Florida, its northern presence is likely due to displacement by a hurricane. The Massachusetts Avian Records Committee will determine its wild status. This sighting follows a recent orca appearance in Cape Cod waters. Now on to sports. Christian McCaffrey signed a two-year extension with the 49ers, making him the highest paid running back through 2027. At a press conference, McCaffrey expressed his excitement about staying with the team and highlighted the broader impact of his deal. He emphasized the importance of valuing running backs, hoping this contract sets a new standard for their compensation. While the full impact remains to be seen, McCaffrey's extension could influence future contracts for other running backs, benefiting the position league-wide. In local sports, the Red Sox at home lost to the Braves 8-3. And tonight, they conclude the series with Pavetta facing Schwellen. In top news, the FBI, known more for law enforcement than entrepreneurship, actually ran its own cell phone company called Anum as part of a massive sting operation called Operation Trojan Shield. For three years, Anon's encrypted phones were used by criminals who unknowingly had their messages read by the FBI. This operation led to over 500 arrests in 2021. 
to journalist Joseph Cox's book. Darkwire details this unprecedented operation, which Netflix is adapting. The Sting has raised significant concerns about the security of encrypted communications and the potential for similar future operations. In business news, on June 3rd, a data glitch caused Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway shares to plummet to $185 each, a 99% discount from over $620,000. Traders who bought these shares at the rock bottom price will have their trades canceled by the New York Stock Exchange. The issue linked to a problem at Consolidated Tape Association lasted about an hour and a half. Other impacted stocks include Chipotle, Barrick Gold, and GameStop. Despite the glitch, Berkshire Hathaway shares closed at over $631,000 unaffected by the error. Well, it sounds like someone was affected by the error. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $71,000. Ethereum is nearing $3,800. And Solana is $173. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. On Tuesday, FDA advisors overwhelmingly voted against approving MDMA for PTSD therapy, citing numerous trial flaws. Despite initial positive results, experts found significant issues, including unblinded trials and missing data on MDMA's biological and cardiovascular effects. Concerns were also raised about the psychotherapy technique used, linked to dubious New Age practices. Accusations of data manipulation further tainted the trial's validity. While the FDA often follows its advisors' recommendations, it will make its final decision after completing its investigation into these allegations. And in entertainment news, Elizabeth Warren criticizes Ticketmaster and Live Nation for monopolistic practices that harm artists, venues, and consumers. The DOJ's antitrust lawsuit highlights how the 2009 merger created a powerful entity controlling most U.S. concert promotions and ticket sales, leading to exorbitant fees and limited competition. The lawsuit aims to break up the monopoly, restoring competition, and potentially lowering ticket prices. Despite facing legal action, Ticketmaster is heavily lobbying Congress to maintain its dominance. This move could significantly impact the live entertainment industry, fostering more equitable practices and better experiences for audiences. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the 32nd President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt. He said, In politics, nothing happens by accident. If it happens, you can bet it was planned that way. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.